Hello everybody, my name is Brooklyn Hellman and today I will be discussing the economic impact of the Chicago Cubs winning the 2016 World Series. Before I begin, here's a quick breakdown of everything I'll be talking about. I will start off talking about the MLB and then I will transition into talking about the Chicago Cubs, their 2015 season, their 2016 season, their World Series victory, and then their 2017 season. So a little bit about the MLB, they are currently worth $36 billion. They've had 15 consecutive years of record-setting increased revenue. And as you can see in 2014, it was $9 billion. 2015 was $9.5 billion. And then 2017 was $10 billion. Over $3 billion worth of fan apparel is purchased annually. The app, MLB at app is the highest grossing iOS sports app of all time. In fact, in 2014, 11 million people downloaded this app. And lastly, the average MLB team is worth $1.3 billion. And all of my information was found on Forbes. So a quick breakdown of the MLB, there's 30 teams, 29 of which are from the United States, and there is in fact one MLB team from Canada. The MLB has two different leagues, the National League and the American League. The National League was created in 1876, and there's 16 teams within the National League. And then the American League was created in 1901, and there's 14 teams in the American League. The American League was actually created in order for the National League to have more competition. They're very similar, but the one major difference between the National League and the American League is that the American League allows to have a designated hitter. And what that means is that somebody off the bench can hit in the batting lineup for the pitcher, where in the National League, the pitcher does have to bat in the lineup. And then every year, the best players from the American League and the best players from the National League play each other in an all-star game. And the city hosting gets about $70.5 million. So a little bit about the Chicago Cubs 2015 season. They had a record of 97 and 65. The average attendance per game was about 36,540 people and the Chicago Cubs at the time were worth $1.8 billion. They didn't really have the season they were hoping. They were third in the National League Central Division, therefore not going very far in the tournament. But things do change, make a huge change in the 2016 season. And all that information was found on Baseball Reference. So in the 2016 season, they did have a huge change. In fact, they had a record of 103-58. And in 2016, they were the only MLB team to have a record of over 100 wins. The average attendance per game was about 39,906 people per game, which was a 3,366 increase from the year prior. They were worth $2.2 billion, which was a $400 million increase from the year before. The National League Division Series and the National League Champion Series both went up 670% in face value. And lastly, the Cubs were first in the National Central Division and the 2016 National League Champs, which therefore caused them to advance to the World Series. And all my information was found on ESPN. So the World Series, it is a best of seven championship series. The winner of the National League and the winner of the American League both face each other in the World Series. So for 2016, it was the Cleveland Indians against the Chicago Cubs. Now what was so interesting about this series was that the Cleveland Indians and the Chicago Cubs were the two longest championship droughts in MLB history. Cleveland standing at 68 years and the Cubs being at 108 years. It was about a half a million dollars for a 30 second commercial during this World Series. And Fox averaged 19.9 million viewers for games one to six, but then averaged about 35 to 40 million viewers in game seven. What was so special about this World Series was that the Cleveland Indians actually was winning the series three to one, and then the Cubs came back in game seven to win the entire series four to three. And all this information was also found on ESPN. So after winning the World Series, the Cubs increased about $300 million in revenue and overall value, excuse me. The Cubs merchandise rose 118%. The Cubs sold 5.2 times more sales than any other MLB team. In fact, 
Chris Bryant, the third baseman for the Cubs, had the second best selling jersey. And first baseman Anthony Rizzo had the third best selling jersey during the 2016 year. And on November 4th, the city of Chicago had a victory parade and rally, which over 5 million people attended. And according to CNBC, only about 4 million of the people actually lived in Chicago. A million people came because they wanted to witness this history of the 108 year drought being broken. So following their World Series win during their 2017 season, they had a record of 93 and 67. Their average attendance was 39,500 people, and then their worth was $2.68 billion. And as I stated earlier, the average MLB worth is $1.3 billion, so the Cubs are almost double any other MLB team. The Cubs' price tickets rose 19.5%, and following the Cubs' victory, over 85,000 people were on the waiting list to purchase season tickets for the 2017 season. Unfortunately, their season ended shorter than they expected. They lost in the National League Championship Series to the Dodgers, therefore not being able to advance to the World Series for a second year in a row. And all of this was found on Forbes. So just to kind of reiterate, I discussed facts about the MLB, I talked about the Chicago Cubs, their World Series win, and how it impacted their 2017 season economically. Thank you for your time, and here are my, here are my sources.